been with the United States Equestrian Federation for two years as the High Performance Director of Para Equestrian. And this is my third national championship and they just keep getting better and better. The sport has increased by over 200%. We are so excited. Um, this is our first time to ever have a FEI international event in this country and the participation is phenomenal with four nations and we have over 22 riders and I, I don't think that I envisioned in the last six months that we would be this successful. I think it's probably not only the level of writing, but the level of coaching and the patience and the, and the dedication to, to, to correct work. You know, we're really, really privileged to watch the folks uh, that were staying at the farm before this CDI competition and how they prepared and how they schooled and how they, they cleaned up their act just before the show, you know, their final preparations. It was just, a, it was really, really, really good to watch. I've been riding dressage since I was six. I went to a show pretty much every other weekend to get just in show mode. I've had my horse um, in training for two months to work out some things that I can't and started to ride against the best people that I could possibly find to ride against. I can't believe the level of commitment and the, their ability. Many of them are better riders, I think, than the able-bodied riders. The reason I ride horses is no one can really tell that I have a disability until the judge flips over and looks at my dispensation certificate. So being at the same show, it's the same thing. It's, we're just, it's a very, we're on an equal playing field. None of this comes easily. All of it comes with a lot of work. You have to challenge yourself. Competing at this level can get extremely expensive, um, so just constantly trying to find fun fundraisers and sponsors and um, just also just public awareness. Um, it's not really quite well known in the United States yet. Traveling across the country is expensive, <laughs> so. Getting people aware that para-equestrian is out there and it's a growing, really good sport to get into. We have a lot of very talented riders that I think we just haven't found yet. We gotta get more people involved be it dressage, event, show jumping, raining, whatever you do, do it to a standard of excellence and promote para-equestrian as equal to excellence. There needs to be an education process to recognize that we are serious and that we're not just a charity. It's not just like we're gonna get to go to the World Equestrian Games and feel good about ourselves. You know, we're trying to win medals. There are some of the bravest, most graceful people I've ever met in this program.